Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know at 96 and 9 o'clock, including news of markets and a holding pattern. In the US, despite a larger than expected decrease in the number of people making initial unemployment benefit claims, markets are tracking sideways. Gold and oil prices are lower and yields on benchmark US Treasury 10-year bonds are marginally higher at 2.56%. Of special note, however, the Chicago PMI zoomed higher with an amazingly strong result overnight. And in an, another interesting aside, the oil majors are taking a hit as margins slide, as demand for their refined products falls away. Both Exxon and Shell are seeing profits slide. On the other side of the world, in Indonesia, things are not so rosy, with their government warning of a slowing outlook. Fortunately, China's recent credit crunch seems to be waning as their central bank pumps in more liquidity. In Australia, they're preparing for the end of car manufacturing there. A number of ministers in the new government think it is inevitable, and the industry minister is confirming, from Toyota in Tokyo, that without more subsidies, the manufacturers will close up shop. It'll be a difficult and angry transition when it comes, and that seems soon now. A number of Kiwi manufacturers will be affected too. Staying in Australia, Fonterra is thought to be on the prowl for 10% of bigger cheese as the Aussie dairy industry braces for a series of painful ownership realignments. Bigger is currently in a bidding battle for a rival's business. New Zealand dollar starts today at 82.7 US cents, 87.3 Aussie cents and the TWI was at 76.6. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.